Guys, I'm pulling in today to Storm Cloud by D.R. Horton. We're gonna pick up the salesman, Mr. Miguel Pena. Pulling into the front, and we're gonna talk about a little bit of the neighborhood and what DR is building out here. There. Hey, how are, how you? are you doing, buddy? You're good yourself. Glad to have you aboard yeah, yeah, today. Good to see you. Thanks for having Excellent. me. Excellent. Sure. We're gonna go drive around uh, Storm Cloud out here and look yeah. at some of your product and see what uh, see what you got going on. Yeah. yeah. So. Tell me some of the trends that you've seen going on out here with uh, the people that are buying your homes. So you know what, a lot of the people that end up buying here within the community are a little bit of the older crowd. Um, so we have a pretty specific model, it's called the multi-gen. So multi-gen is great because it actually has a second living area that allows uh, accommodation for, for example, we've had uh, some older couples buy it because they have in-laws moving in. Uh, we've had a couple parents buy it because they still have kids in college. Uh, so that's really popular here within the subdivision, and then uh, a lot of out-of-state people. So those two are pretty much the most popular trends. In that multi-gen is great. And guys, oh, it's beautiful. What that is is an actual two homes in one. Tell us a little bit more. Correct. About. Yeah. So what it ends up being is it's a 2,500 square foot single-story floor plan. Uh, it's a four-bedroom, three and a half bath, and that second living area by itself sits at about 400, 450 square feet. So it's nice because you have access to that second living area on your own. So it's a completely separate entrance to the front of the house. You have your own thermostat. It has its own kitchenette, bathroom, bedroom, washer, dryer. Um, it's almost like a little studio. So super convenient. And, and like you said, it's two houses in one, essentially. That's awesome. excellent for people combining uh, families. Exactly. Um, having an older uh, kid going to college. Correct. Things like that. That really is a nice floor plan. Yeah, it's great. it's great. So what do those usually start about? So within the subdivision, um, they're so popular that we are actually only down to two. So we have one that is being built right now and it's priced uh, a little bit under 400, okay. so about 398. And then we have the model home, which will be available within, I'd say about 12 to 18 months. Oh, wow. Cause the model homes will be the, the very last one. Be oh, so, man, so, so. absolutely. But yeah, so they were so popular that we're only down to the two. So. Excellent. I could I could see that. I right. See that. That's one of the uh, only builders that I know that is offering a multi gen or anything like that. Correct. Yeah. So usually having to have a big floor plan of lot to be able to put two homes on the lot and exactly. then paying more money. Correct. With this, it's letting it go into a footprint of a single home. Correct. And like I said, that floor plan sits at about 2,500 square feet. Um, so with that second living area being about 400, 450, you still have about 2,000, maybe a little bit more in the main living area, which is still, I mean, it's a big floor plan for, you know, a single family home. Excellent. So I heard you guys changed appliance vendors. Who did you move? We did. So originally we were with Frigidaire. Uh, Frigidaire is a great company. We went under a national contract now with Whirlpool. So Whirlpool is, I mean, you know, everybody knows Whirlpool. It's, That's you. It's a very recognizable brand, and um, we got some really, really good upgrades with, uh, with our new contract. So That's it's awesome. great stuff. So, what home are we going to go to today? So today we're actually going to go take a look at 2119 Torrent. It's a Thomason. So it's one of our two stories, okay. and it's one of our most popular floor plans as well. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna pull down. I see some of these finished homes with this stone out front. My gosh, some of the uh, contemporary and modern. Oh, they're beautiful. So the one straight ahead is uh, pretty much gonna mimic the same floor plan, but the outside's actually gonna look a little bit different. Okay. So we'll pull up here. You're still gonna see a, a ton of the stonework, and you're actually gonna see uh, this one's gonna be moving ready, and it'll be the very last one with a three car garage. Excellent. Yeah, it's beautiful. So a ton of stonework, uh, three car garage, very modern look. Uh, like I said, a little bit different than the contemporary look with the awnings and stuff like that, but still a beautiful thing. Absolutely. Here we go. Cool. Come on in. Beautiful entryway. All right, guys, so this will be the Thomason. So Thomason sits at 3115 square feet. It'll be a four bed, three and a half bath, plus an office. So the office is actually where we're standing right now. So 
is a huge space that's at the front of the house, and this, if you're not going to use it as an office, there's you know kind of a blank a slate with what you can do with these. There's a blackout curtain, throw a projector on the roof, and actually use this as a room. Excellent. So, I can see that for sure. Yeah, a beautiful room there, and then still at the front of the house, you're going to have a powder room. So that'll end up being a half bath. We have a coat closet here. It's conveniently placed next to the front door. You have gas. You're entertaining. Whatever the case may be, you can put everybody's belongings right there. Excellent. That's nice, and then as you continue, you will actually take a look at the formal dining. So formal dining is a big area. Um, I've seen a couple of things done here. You still have enough room for an eight-person table, but towards the back, you can actually do almost like a wet bar, you can do a dry bar, uh, you can make that a little bit of an entertainment center, wherever you, the case may be. Um, and then kind of continuing here, you walk into the chef's kitchen. So a huge island. Uh, this I like because the cooktop is actually on the island. So if you end up putting bar stools on the island, you can do some cooking while you're feeding guests and doing all the entertainment, which is super easy. So there's that, all kinds of steel appliances, built in, very, very convenient, and it's very, very clean as well. So with this, you're typically going to have 10 foot ceiling and 8 foot doorway, but as you come into the break room, these are actually 20 foot ceilings. So this adds a, a big wow factor to the actual. So those copper ceilings, it's a small detail, but it adds a ton of character to the house, which is good. So, great room, and then as you can see, one of the biggest things that the comments in, kind of just known for is this three panel door. So, big sliding glass door, really opens up and lets in a ton of natural light to the actual house, which is beautiful. And then of course, small detail, once again, you're going to have a little bit of a seating next to the fireplace. Which is like I said, if you have that on, you're doing some entertaining, it's just extra shooting for your guests and stuff like that. Excellent. So, and the Thomason has a master downstairs. Correct. So one of the bigger advantages to this floor plan is actually having a master bedroom downstairs, uh, which is nice. It's a huge bedroom. So if you take a look, typically if this was furnished, you could fit a king size bed with a nice head to each side. And it's nice because you have, still have this nook over here where you can put a couple of different dressers. Um, and it's just a big area to, you know, do whatever you like. Once again, blank slate. So, this is nice. And we'll continue to the master bath here. So this, one of the bigger differences here is you're only going to have a his and her. So that's nice because you're not fighting over space. Um, but with that being said, you also have a ton of counter space and then a ton of counter space. So storage isn't an issue here at all. You have also a separate tub and shower, which is nice just because, I mean, once again, one person likes to bathe, one person likes to shower, there's no argument or issue there either. So. Now, the uh, countertops and surfaces, are these uh, standard in here? Correct, so all of the countertops are all gonna be granite. So we use granite and then the backsplash, as you can see, is actually all included. Uh, those are standard features that we offer here. And then the flooring, just to kind of touch on that, we'll always do tile flooring as well. Excellent. So. I love the seamless doors. Yeah, so that's actually a frameless shower. So a little bit of the difference there is instead of having a full frame shower, this is a little bit of a cleaner finish. So we'll glue the two pieces of glass together and then they'll be held together by the graphics on the bottom. Perfect, perfect. A little bit better and then you're gonna have a, almost like a wet closet here. And then what's really amazing is this walk-in closet. So a ton and ton of room here. So, I mean, there's really endless possibility you can do here and tons of storage space, so. Absolutely. Nice. And then leading, you know, finishing off the bottom floor here. So coming straight out of the master bathroom, mm -hmm. right into the laundry room. Yeah, so your service room will actually be right off of the closet, which is super convenient just because what ends up happening is if you have laundry to do, you can just go from the closet directly to the service room. Very so, nice. Very, very convenient. And you got two doors. Correct. So you could shut this door behind me so nobody can get into your master and you could shut this door if you're just going to go through your master and exactly. privacy. One of the big things I love about DR Horton is the storage. Yeah, so, I mean, as you saw in the kitchen, tons of cabinet space for, you know, a ton of storage, bathroom, tons of storage, and then this is almost like a utility closet that you can, you know, use for, once again, some extra storage if you need it. Excellent. So, so as we move up to the second level of the Thomason, what's really, really great, what you'll notice that adds some character to the house as well, is actually the wrought iron. So this is a beautiful piece. Um, it's nice just because it leads you to the landing. So a lot of the issues that some buyers have is well, there's no landing, you might want to find 30, 40 stairs. It's nice about this, you'll have the first flight, you'll have a landing, take a little breather, and then it will take you up to the second level. 
All right, guys, so Thomas and floor plan actually gives you a second living, it's not a living area, but you have a second loft. So what's cool about this is uh, this is actually on the top floor. So as you can see, there's a ton and ton of room. Once again, plain slate to do kind of whatever you like. I've seen this turn into a playroom. I've had people put a pool table up here and actually turn this into a small man cave. Uh, I've had people put a bar up here. It's great for entertaining and it serves you know, multiple purposes, which is good to have when you are big into entertaining, you are into big and having gas and you know, you, you like being the host and you want people to really say, wow, like we love going over to the Thomas and Floor Plan because of everything that it has to offer. So this is one of the bigger things on the upstairs floor. Another big thing too is all the rooms up here are going to be a good size. And what's nice about up here is this bedroom will actually have its own bathroom. So this ends up turning into a suite, which is super, super convenient for whenever you have guests or company over. Wow. Full shower. Correct. That's better than most people's master. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And so with the Thomas and floor plan, like I said, it is a four bedroom. So right now we've only seen two of them, the master downstairs, and then this is the suite upstairs. I've got to stop you real quick. These arches, being able to look over this. Oh my God. Oh, it's beautiful. So once again- You are not limited from theory. your family or whoever's downstairs, but you still have your hideaway, man cave, or exactly. whatever you want to make it. Exactly. So with that being said, once again, suite upstairs. It brings you to bedroom number two upstairs. Good size bedroom. And then with that being said as well, we'll also have bedroom number three upstairs that will have the shared bathroom here. Nice, and granite is, again, standard. standard. Correct, yeah. So we try to do a lot of stuff that's standard so that way it facilitates the process for the buyers a little bit, um, which is nice just because when you move in, there really isn't a ton of upgrades or any upgrades at all that you have to end up paying for out of pocket, which saves you some money in the long run. Absolutely, well. so. absolutely. Alright guys, so what I'll leave you with is a couple of other standard features that we offer as a builder. So with your work, you're going to get something that's called a smart home, right? So with a smart home comes a couple of different things. So what you're actually going to get is a control panel, where you can control lights, you can control the thermostat. Um, it just serves a couple of different purposes. You'll get touchscreen thermostats, you're going to get a pin pad on the deadbolt of the front door. You're going to get a C-Wave switch, which is actually controlled through the app that you can download. Um, super convenient, and then you're also going to get a ring doorbell. So with the ring doorbell, it actually allows you to see who's walking up to the door, which once again is a super convenient factor. Um, so that's all standard stuff that we offer. Now with that being said, all of the homes that we do are also green builds. So with the green build package, what you're actually going to get is a tankless water heater, which gives you hot water on demand. So that's part of the green build. All of the windows are going to be actually installed by the window company, which is great because our vendors and contractors don't touch them. Um, so you know that they're professionally installed. They are also thermal and double pane, which, I mean, during the summer, if you go touch one of the windows, it's not hot at all. Uh, you're going to get some thicker insulation throughout the attic and in some of the walls. And then what you're also going to get is something called tech shield. So tech shield, when you're framing the roof, what it is, is it's almost like an aluminum barrier, and it doesn't allow a lot of the heat or cold to come in during the different seasons. So those are just a couple of things that are part of the green build process, but it makes a huge, huge difference. So, I mean, it really does save you some money throughout the year. I actually had a couple of buyers I was talking to them, and for their electric and gas, for the multi-jet that we were actually talking about earlier in the video, um, they ended up paying no more than about $130 a month. Which, I mean, is huge. If you know, if you live in an older home or if you live in a home that isn't Greenville, you can definitely tell the difference because of how much you are paying throughout the year. So, once again, just saves you some money throughout the year and that's all standard stuff that EO4 actually does to facilitate the process for the buyers and help everybody that you know, ends up doing this, or ends up coming on as a client now. Again, for taking us through the house and giving us a chance to be able to see what comes with the price of the house, the granite, the new home features like the smart home, correct thermostats and the locks and such like that. And then their energy efficiency, the windows exactly. and the insulation. Right. That really means a lot and people need to know that some builders are up and going over and beyond. Exactly. Than exactly. Some exactly. Some other than the other builders. Exactly. Excellent. Guys. Give me a call, 505-897-3334. I'll get you with Miguel. We'll get a viewing of this home or one of the other properties that he does have here. And you guys can see it for yourself. Again, guys, 
Make sure you subscribe to my channel for future viewings of tips on real estate and give me a call 505-897-3334. Have a great day.